Uh, t can you tell us a little bit about some of the factions that players will encounter? Yeah, so obviously uh, Pagan Min is an outsider who invaded Kirat. Uh, and he came with a, a small group of his own soldiers. But really, uh, the way that he invaded kind of split Kirat into two. So it became a civil war, really, the fight for the country. Um, and he, uh, so half of the country kind of sided with him, either because they believed in him or they were too scared to, to fight. Um, and obviously his antagonism created a, a rebel faction uh, that are called the Golden Path. So Pagan Min calls his army the Royal Army because he, it wasn't enough that he could just invade and take over the country. He like he installed himself as king. He murdered the heir to the throne and the end of the bloodline of the royal, real royal family. Um, and he yeah he calls himself his king. So he brands his army as the Royal Army. Now you already mentioned some of the uh, the animals and we and we played using the, the gyrocopter. Are and are there any other standout features in Far Cry 4 compared to Far Cry 3? Yeah, I mean, so just in terms of the, the new environment and navigation, uh, we obviously had to think about how players could get from the, the valleys to the tops of the mountains. So we, we have a new grappling system, which lets players climb uh, pretty pretty smoothly, navigate through the environment. Um, it interacts systemically with all of the other tools, so you can, you can grapple from point to point, you can shimmy around, you can jump between grapple points. Like if you miss a grapple point, you can open up the wingsuit and then fly and then parachute. Um, obviously, we bring back the wingsuit from Far Cry 3, um, but this time we won't only unlock it after about 20 hours. I guess that was that was a big mistake we made in Far Cry 3. Um, so yeah, you'll have access to the wingsuit pretty early. Um, so yeah, it was just about trying to like to figure out those new gameplay opportunities. And obviously, uh, the elephant navigation-wise, the elephant is is super interesting because it lets you uh, it can actually swim. So when you get to a body of water, if you're being chased by uh, enemies in a, in a jeep or in a truck or whatever, you can use the elephant to, uh, to, cro to cross a river or cross a body of water. Now, uh, about how big is this world, um, uh, size-wise? Uh, the world is, is pretty similar in size to Far Cry 3, um, but we've just kind of increased the possibilities and tried to make sure that there's something interesting to find around every corner and there's something that uses the new tools that we give you. So there's a lot of, we're spending a lot of time making specific um, areas to use the grapple hook and to use like the new navigation tools. Um, so you saw uh, on, the, on the Sony demo, you know we had this uh, really cool canyon sequence for the wingsuit. Um, so we're kind of, we're trying to, I think on Far Cry 3 we built the world and the ingredients at the same time. Whereas now we, we understand the tools that the player has, so we can kind of, we can use those uh, a little more to kind of, we can shape experiences with those tools in mind a little more. What would you say would be among uh, the top weapons, your favorite weapon in Far Cry 4? Oh, uh, it's the elephant, without a doubt. Like you can, it's, it's so versatile. You can use it almost like a, almost like a co-op friend. Um, or you can ride it like a, like a vehicle. Uh, it's just, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty dynamic, it's pretty powerful. And when does the game come out, for what platforms? Uh, the game's out this November, November 2014. It's on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and PC. Thank you very much.